So I had the Canon G7X Mark II now for a couple of days and since nobody else seems to have it I thought I will do a quick review so you can make your own judgment about this camera. In fact, I'm filming right now with the G7X Mark II. So here it is in my possession, one of the few. The body I read is more or less the same like the previous one except you have this little nice grip now in front where you can put your finger and the other side you have this for your thumb, a little rubber pad for your thumb just to put your hands it fits quite well, I have to say. Uh, one more difference is this ring in front. There's a small little lever here. When you flip, like before, it's clicking sound. And when you flip this lever, it's smooth. I prefer the clicking one. Uh, on the backs, of course, here the text is different. It says Mark II. And then there's this screen, you can flip up like before or you can tilt it down when you're recording something higher up on your tripod or you can just fold it or you can like do a little walking animation. Hello, I'm the new camera. <laughs> you hear this little sound? nice isn't it and then uh, battery compartment here's the original battery you can buy a fake one but then you will not get the battery icon if you, if you put in a non canon battery close it uh, sorry a little bit nervous here so I switch on the camera it's very fast to switch on and then you have this battery warning battery communication error does it no doesn't can I continue use yes and then you don't have any battery indicator and it will not tell you how much battery is left uh, then there here you can charge now with a USB cable which is quite nice okay switch it on one two three is fast isn't it uh, Pretty much the same like it was before, I suppose. I didn't have the GX7, G7X first model, so I really don't know. Uh, I know there's a new time lapse feature in here. It's this is what that's the one time lapse uh, where you can set uh, the scene. Are you shooting walking people or clouds or really slow changing scenes? You can set. Come on how many seconds interval, how many shots from 30 to 900 and there you go so that's I don't know what to show you really here there's this dedicated Wi-Fi button uh, if I click it then you can choose from stuff and configure <laughs> yeah so that's it um, I will do a little bit of footage so you can see the camera at work and I did yesterday uh, my first f uh, full video with this camera and right away I noticed when I was talking like this, I could hear this ticking noise. Can you, can you hear it ticking? I hope not, but I was a little bit disappointed about this ticking noise. And since this camera does not have a microphone plug, I cannot put in an external microphone. I always have to rely on a lavalier microphone. So now it's... I'm looking into the camera. I'm looking into the screen. I tap the screen. Okay, so now it's like 8 a.m. in Austria. It's ridiculously dark. <laughs> Here's my studio. So you can see I usually film under low light conditions. The only light thing I have is up there. It's some, some bars, some fluorescent bars uh, like, like uh, this one. So I'm thinking this camera makes a very good impression in, in low light. Uh, here is my office with my table 
and here I give one on one hands on lessons. You can see, okay, I catch some light, it's good. And then we have very strong contrast here with the windows. Outside, there's a little garden, so I can show you how the camera performs if I just go out there to look into the green. Here's the sky. So I'm thinking the camera does it very well. So the best light would be here if I would be uh, vlogging. Okay, I switch on my light bars. Now I have the artificial light from above. <laughs> it's not bad at all, isn't it? I'm sorry for this out of this world boring shots. <laughs> 